Have you been struggling with starting your research paper for a long time? Do you sometimes stare at a blank piece of paper wondering you know, how to get started writing the introduction to the paper and what to put in there? You know, do you find yourself then you know, wasting a lot of time and just feeling frustrated that the words aren't flowing? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to start your research paper so that you can write it much faster and you know, you're not staring at a blank piece of paper. So before we dive in and before I show you exactly how to start your research paper, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowiak and I um, run Academic English Now where I help PhD students and researchers write research papers for top journals in the field. So starting the introduction can be very tricky to a lot of people. In fact, for a lot of people, writing the introduction is the most difficult part of the research paper. You know, um, my clients tell me that writing the methodology is very simple because they kind of already did that. Um, presenting the results is okay as well because they know what results they've got. But how do they start the introduction? You know, how do they write the introduction? And I've got a step-by-step -step guide as well to writing the whole introduction, which you can check out and the link should be somewhere here. But the, the starting point is very important because sometimes, you know, we are just kind of staring at a blank piece of paper. We don't know what to put down and we're getting more and more frustrated. And then an hour passes and we've written like five words. And then we read what we've written and we just delete it and we start all over again, right? But this isn't necessary because there is a very, very typical way of starting the introduction that practically all papers in all disciplines use. What is it? Well, it's either stating the importance of the topic or providing a definition of a key term. How does that work? Well, you want to, at the very beginning of the paper, you want to tell the reader why this paper is important and why should they care at all. After all, a reviewer will read hundreds of papers, you know, so they want to know straight up why they should read your paper and what's so important about your topic, right? And there are three different ways in which you can state the importance of the topic. For example, you can state the importance of the topic for the society or the world in general. So if you've got a topic like related to, for example, maybe poverty or unemployment, right? Something that affects large groups of people, then you could talk about, in, about it in the first paragraph. And typically people write things like, you know, um, in recent years, unemployment has risen by X percent in several different countries, right? To kind of underscore the importance of this. Another way of doing this is to state the importance of your topic for your discipline, right? So not everybody has a topic that's like, that's got a really big impact for the society or the world, but everybody has a topic, you know, that's important for their discipline. And typically what researchers then do is they say things like, um, you know, various studies have been conducted on, or this topic has received increased attention from researchers, right? Um, and this just kind of highlights that this is an important topic. People are studying it, right? So that's the second way. Now, the third way in which you can state the importance of the topic is to talk about um, a big problem that needs resolving. And that's somehow very similar to, sometimes, excuse me, very similar to the importance of the topic for the society, right? But it's more framed in terms of a problem, right? So you basically state a problem, like unemployment, right? And highlight how important solving this problem is, right? So that's kind of the first big way of starting a paper, importance of the topic, and you can present it in three different ways, right? The second way that is often related to it is to provide a definition of the key term or terms, right? Sometimes what people do is they put it straight up as the first sentence, the first paragraph, you know, and they provide a definition of a key term. Like a paper could, could start something like, you know, Alzheimer's disease 
is a disease correct is Alzheimer's disease is characterized by and then you provide a definition of it right sometimes people combine it with the importance of the topic right um, so they say that you know uh, currently more than I don't know 300,000 people in the US alone uh, suffer from Alzheimer's disease the disease is characterized by right so you kind of have the importance of the topic and the definition all in the same go right so these are the two best ways really of starting any research paper in any field you either state the importance of the topic or provide a definition or do both at the same time so if you find yourself struggling to start your introduction next time then follow this approach and it will be so much easier um, to write and you will finish faster and also your introduction will be impactful because the reader will know straight away why your topic is important now if you found this useful but you would want to work with me more personally uh, then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with me or a member of my team and the link is right below this video and we'll try to understand better your current situation your challenges what you want to achieve uh, to see how and if we can help you to achieve your goals and then if it does turn out like it's a good fit for both of us then we can talk a little bit further about how specifically we could work together and how we could help you so if you're interested in that then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation and the link is somewhere in the description <music>